everybody and welcome to another video. Um, I think today it's going to be a little bit of a chill kind of video. Um, I've just been kind of working inside of this like save that I have for a bit and um, actually originally had a different save and then I updated the game and something happened and a bunch of like stuff got like it, like it wouldn't open the save, so I'm not really sure what that was about. It was getting a little bit laggy before I had updated. Um, and this was like the Lovestruck update, so it wasn't the most recent one for the newest pack, which is like that like Grim Reaper pack, but um, like the Life and Death pack. So I'm not really sure why that happened, but um, yeah, I ended up having to um, delete that since it literally wouldn't open. And now I'm kind of working on this one. Um, it's a little bit similar to the one I was working on previously. I had like a little screenshot of it up on my Tumblr uh, a while back. I don't remember how long ago was it. It was, sorry. Um, but it was like a while ago that I had that picture up and um, there was like a bridge here. So I used like this kind of really small lot right here to have like a bridge going over into um, what I thought was gonna be like, you know, a city hall and like that kind of thing with a bunch of like administrative buildings. Um, so I kind of tried to do that whole administrative sort of side of the town, um, but I didn't make a bridge here, so I don't know if I'm going to do that again. I could do it again. I'm really thinking about making this, like, water, I don't know what this is called to be honest with you, but this kind of, like, waterway into something that looks a little bit more natural, like an actual river, um, but I'm not totally sure how I would do that because I don't think we have like, you know, like dirt textures or something that I could put over there. Like, I guess that kind of looks like it'd be like mossy rock. I just have like a bunch of trees on this random lot here um, because I was trying to figure out the kind of like nature and stuff that I wanted around the area. So this is like just a lot full of trees because I was going to like place them around. Um... I already have like two houses here on this lot just because this lot's so wide um and my last save that got deleted um uh i had like one house here and it was like a pretty big house um and i did really like that build but uh, i decided that it would make more sense to put two houses on this lot just because it's such a large lot um and i think it would fill the space a bit better um i think i'm gonna maybe probably do like the same on this lot just because it's a bit wider probably two smaller houses kind of the same size that would fit on this lot like two of those sizes there and then um i'm not really sure if i want to do that whole like connecting bridge thing i guess it would kind of make sense because i think this is kind of like um a main street kind of over here and i did place like buildings over there like shops and stuff like that so there's like a town area um like on this side of the street um, and then I put, like, a bridge over there to this little, like, shack, and I just threw that over there. Um, the hardest thing, I feel like, about doing, like, a save from, from scratch where you have everything kind of deleted out, and I use the, um, I know there's, like, the blowtorch mod, which will get rid of, like, everything in all worlds, uh, but I'm, like, way too intimidated by that, so I did not get that mod. I actually just have the, um, like, emptied, I think it's, like, emptied... Newcrest, Oasis Springs, and Willow Creek, and I'm pretty sure it's by um, a winged llama, so yeah, they made like a thing where it like empties out, you know how there's like really ugly, <laughs> um, at least in my opinion, uh, flowers and like bushes and stuff like along this area that you can't really like take out, um, it kind of just like deletes that stuff, and then obviously it deletes the background, like the backdrop of everything, and like the buildings and stuff that were there, and for me, like, that's the most difficult part because I feel like add the backgrounds back in. And I just find that really hard to do just because um, I also have a Wing Llama's, like, other mod where you can, like, click with the tool mod, um, like, anywhere on the map. So it kind of will send things further. But, like, to place, like, these backdrops is, like, really difficult so that they don't look really strange. Um, but anyways, that's kind of what I've been doing um and like i said with like this area i kind of want i was thinking about it like the other day um and i thought it would be kind of interesting to make this look like a natural waterway 
like a river or something that runs through here but the only thing is i don't think we have like rocks and stuff that would look like if i was going to do that i'd want to put like a mound of like grass like a grass texture like a like a dirt texture that it's like going into the ground instead of just like rocks everywhere but i don't think we have anything in the debug that looks like anything like that um so i think that's gonna be kind of hard i didn't actually look um in the menu it was just something i thought about the other day but i thought that would be kind of cool to have it look like a natural river that goes through there but we're gonna have to see um i know i haven't like done any i think videos like this where it's just me kind of like fooling around <laughs> but i just like I don't know, I thought about doing more kind of long videos that didn't take as much ed editing time, um, just cause sometimes, you know, life and stuff gets in the way or, you know, getting sick and all that stuff. So I thought having videos where I can just kind of come on and record something really chill, um, probably going to be at night would be kind of fun. And I hope that you guys would like that, but it's just something I'm going to try out for a little bit. And if you guys don't want to see long form sort of videos and just have like speed builds and stuff, then do let me know in the comments. Because I know that some people like longer form videos, but um, others certainly don't sometimes. So yeah, I don't know. See, I don't know about this. Like I want, I want it to be like natural looking and like there's dirt. I guess maybe if I like, maybe if I rotated it, it would look less weird. I don't know which way this would have to rotate, to be honest. I'm just gonna do random numbers. Oh wait, I just did the wrong axis. Okay, um, where is it? Rotate, change axis. I'll be honest, I can't really see where the, the circle is. Okay, wait, okay, I think it's this way. I'm just gonna do 12. Okay, yeah, it is this way. Um. I don't know, I'm just gonna put- I just throw random numbers in, see what works, to be honest. That's why I use the tool mod, it's just guessing at this point. Um, let's do 10. Like, if I did- does that look better? Does that look terrible? I don't know about that. I'm not really sure about that, to be honest. Let me, like, Figure, let me like move it and like see. Oh. Like, I feel like I don't like that. Do we have any like dirt, like mud patches or something in debug or like anywhere? I don't think that we do. Like, just something that looks like earth, like kind of raised up like in a mound. I think the closest thing we have to that is, actually I think we do, don't we have like a dirt pile somewhere in debug? There's like just a mound of dirt, like you know how these things, it's just like this random thing like that? Oh yeah, we do kind of have that. Oh, I wonder if that would look okay. I feel like if I size this up, it's going to look terrible. Because I have to size it up enough to like, obviously go over this like, the edge of whatever this is. I don't know why I can't. My brain's like, I we don't know the name of that, just just forget it. Like <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, but you know what I'm talking about. Just like the border of that. Like that texture does not look that good. I feel like it's gonna have to be that high up to cover it though. No, yeah. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that personally. Let me see what it looks like if I rotated it. That was not what I... Oh yeah, some things can't be rotated also with tool. Um, and this is one of them. So that can't get rotated. See, as you can see, it like rotates the thing, but like the actual mesh doesn't do it. Some things are like that with tool for some reason. Um, okay, so that's a dead dream. I think that's a dead dream unless I do it with like bushes or something, maybe. This is going to be... Oops, I just moved my phone on my desk. Um... I think that this is gonna be, oh, this is cool. Where is this from? Oh, it's like that garden thing. Oh, right, because I got a, um, I downloaded this pack from Haybrine because they had a little, um, what's it called? You know those gazebos? 
They had a little gazebo in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. I, I, oh, actually, that's not too slow. I just like updated my mods folder because it was ridiculously slow. Yeah, because you know how we have this? It came with like high school years and like the debug section, but it's not usable. I think this makes it so you can put like a gazebo down and have it be usable because obviously it doesn't have like the stairs on it. And I have here, let me show you what I'm kind of doing. So like, obviously I'm going to do a really like family friendly neighborhood. Like this is going to have like a lot of kids, I think that live here. Um, just cause I feel like Willow Creek is like the basic kind of world where people usually have, you know, like a bunch of families and stuff like that. Um, it just suits this kind of world. So we're going to have like houses all down here and then kind of like how I did with the save that got deleted, unfortunately. Um, I have like a pathway that goes down between the two houses on either side. I'm probably going to put like a fence up, but you go between here and then there's like a fenced area because this actually leads to the like park area. So it's like a park that's like behind um, the neighborhood houses here. And it's like that area usually in Villa Creek that has this like little thing that pops up and then um, like the community garden kind of vibe that usually is here. Um, but I just like fenced it in from like where the sidewalk is so you can have like an entrance on this side um, and then enter and then obviously where I showed you like that path through the houses and I'm just gonna like put playground equipment and stuff over here. Um, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it like I don't know how I'm gonna lay this out but I'm gonna do something with like a park area and like benches and stuff so like you can get something to eat from here and then like you know have a couple benches playground. I'm thinking about maybe doing a splash pad but I'm not 100% sure. Um, just because I don't, I've realized like while trying to do a save file that I really want to make everything as open as possible in the sense that I don't have to travel between wor like worlds or lots as often. Um, just to like limit the amount of loading screens I have to go to go through. So the plan is to make like playgrounds and splash pads and stuff like that available in every world that isn't on like an actual lot like this. It's just kind of tool placed in the world so that your Sims can just be at whatever lot they're at and then walk to it. Um, that's kind of the plan because I think that makes the most sense just so like if you live in this lot or this lot or like one of these lots, you can just walk over here and then do whatever instead of like the park being here and then you have to like travel through a loading screen. So that's the plan. Um, but yeah, that's what this area is gonna be for. It's like a park area. And then through the park area, um, over here, there's like another pathway through these houses. These are just like debug houses that I found, um, obviously like through the debug menu, but there's like a fence area here that goes down. And then this is going to be like what I assume would be like an elementary, like public school. Um, so like the kids, the sim kids that like live in these houses go to this public school. So they can either like walk down, you know, the sidewalk over here and then go to school, or they can like, you know, take a shortcut path through like the park down between the houses and then go to the school so i have to like add a you know parking lot maybe some like benches or something over here and like school buses and everything so it looks like you know a functioning school but that's kind of the plan that's kind of the plan for this whole area over here and then obviously i'm doing like houses over here and then maybe that bridge thing that i did before but i'm not sure i feel like maybe it'll look weird if i don't put anything there but this just could be a different area um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. And I know that the train also goes by. So if I do put the, I didn't think about that before because I didn't realize the train like actually physically goes on these tracks that's here. So if I put the train here, I think it's going to clip in and look really stupid. So I'm thinking about not making this a bridge, but if I don't make this lot a bridge, then I'm not really sure what to do with it. Um, just because it's a smaller lot, I could just put a house there, obviously, at the end of the street. Um, or make it like a dead end or something. Maybe I'll put like trees and like a forest here, but it just kind of feels like a waste of a lot. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this lot, the smaller one. But anyways, um, like I said, I had got this gazebo um, because I thought here, let me actually turn it a little bit because I wanted to put like a gazebo thing in this park area. And obviously I can place it with tool. Yeah, like a cute little gazebo in the park. I thought that'd be nice. So I was just going to do that. I don't know. I'm just going to put it there for now. I don't know if that's going to stay there. I have to like figure out that whole layout. But um, anyways, I'm going to get distracted a lot. Like this is truly just how my brain works when I'm goofing around in the game. So this is not going to be 
um, smooth or anything um, by any means. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to see if we put bushes over on this thing, if it would look okay, or if I should just honestly truly give up on this looking like a like river thing. I think I should, I'm probably gonna give up on it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not feeling too. Yeah, so we're gonna give up on that. <laughs> we're gonna give up on that actually. Um, I don't think I can make it look decent enough. And these things are too high anyway, so I guess this is just gonna be something that runs through the town. That's okay though. For now, um, obviously I brought all these trees out because I need to place them down. Um, something else I realized by going outside, that sounds really terrible. <laughs> like I don't, um, like leave my house a lot, which I, I kind of don't, but, um, I realized like how higgledy piggledy trees look in real life. I feel like we place things to look really pretty and like symmetrical or like, you know, this tree looks weird here or this, you know, but like trees in real life truly are just everywhere. Like nothing matches. Some of the shades are different. There'll be like a brown tree and then one that's dying and then the other one next to it's green and then one's yellow and it's super short and like, you know, like nothing's really symmetrical and perfect. Um, and that's something I realized while kind of like looking around being like, you know, I'm always kind of being like, oh, like this looks weird or whatever because all the trees don't match. But like in real life, the trees don't match and that's just like the way nature is. Um, so I don't know why I get caught up with that, but that is something that I think about sometimes. Um, yeah, everything's kind of higgledy piggledy in real life, which is good for me because I truly struggle bus with like placing, um, trees and stuff in this game. And I'm not really sure why that is. I'm just turning them so they don't look completely, you know, symmetrical because I feel like that makes a lot of sense for it not to look symmetrical, but like truly trees really do be looking like this in real life. Like it's just random. Um, so we're gonna try and, you know, force ourselves to not make everything look 100% because that's just like not what happens in real life. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess so. I feel like that's okay. I want some more of these like big fluffy like pine trees or something. I'm not sure what they're called if I'm being 100%. But these kind of guys. Let me actually move it over here and just kind of turn it so it's not completely the same as the other one. But you know, that's just kind of how trees work. I also want some more kind of small trees. Let me kind of turn that around a little bit. Oh my goodness, this won't move. Okay, there we go. That happens sometimes with tool. I don't know why it does that, but sometimes it just like won't move. Okay, there's that tree. Uh, where's that one tree that I like? Where is it? This one? Is it this one I'm thinking of? Yeah, it is this one. Okay, we're gonna do this tree. I think we're gonna line the path with it. I truly could just go into the this household, but like we're not gonna go and do that because that would mean going through a loading screen, and I'm not doing that right now. But I want, like, trees to be kind of lining this path. I may put a different tree there, though. Aww. Those trees are so pretty. Also, obviously, as you can see, I have a lot of, um, like, oops. A lot of tree overrides, because I complain a lot, as we all know here about how the trees look in this game because I want trees with more um, texture and not as like bulky which is just like a preference of mine to be honest um, but yeah so I just have a lot of tree overrides in my game at the moment and they'll probably still be here later too because I just honestly prefer it these are all going to be the exact same way and it's going to bother me I just know it. Another thing I realized is having to like go into your game and genuinely play test it. Like the save. I've been in this weird thing where like where I'm doing the save and I'm like not playing the game because I just want to have a save that I that's like suited to what I want to play in. And so that means that I'm just like not playing the game that much. 
because I'm just trying to get the save done so I can play. <laughs> I'm like in this weird space of like, if it's not done, then I don't want to play, you know? Like I, cause then you're like, you know, you open the game and the save is just like not full of things, like places to go and like things to do. And like the sims are all like weird looking because the game's just like randomly generating them and everyone's like, like every single sim is bald for some reason or they have like pink hair and it's just like kind of, you know, unrealistic and it just makes me upset <laughs> and then I get annoyed. So I've just been in a weird space of like trying to finish this, a save, um, which was kind of devastating when the other one broke because then it like set me back and I was like, oh my gosh, like I've been working on this for a while. Um, so that kind of sucked just because, you know, I have to like start all over. Uh, but you know, it's like the nature of this game sometimes, so you just deal with it. It is what it is. I also can't go like too hard on the trees because girl, this game cannot handle the trees. Let me tell you, it does not like when you have a lot of trees in here. Oh my goodness. I keep pressing the wrong key on my keyboard and it keeps opening keyboard options. Um... Yeah, the game does not like having a whole bunch of trees, which is something else I learned from doing the previous version of the save. Um, which I guess is good to know, because then you don't want to, like, place too much down. Um, but you also want to, like, place what you want, you know? Are this, like, cardboard trees over here? Like, they're the debug, like, kind of background trees. Um... I don't love the way they look, but they exist because, as I said, it's going to take up a lot of, you know, mental space <laughs> for the computer to run, um, for the game to run. So, you know, we got to do what we got to do, basically. We're going to put some of these ferns around. I like these ferns from, um, what's it called? This pack? You know, the one, the camping get outdoors <laughs> it is not called get outdoors i don't know why i can't remember the name of that pack but you all know what i am talking about um yeah i like these little ferns that come with it probably put that in a couple places um maybe some bushes i should probably like try not to use a lot of custom content bushes and stuff just you know so it's like not loading files a lot when i open the save but it's kind of hard to not use them. But I can do it. I know I can. Um, yeah, that looks okay, I think. Just kind of shift some bushes. I think the biggest thing truly is trying to make things natural is like kind of hard. Um, Cause you want to put, like I said, you want to kind of like pop, you know, oh, this is so pretty. This is a part of that, um, set I was talking about. Ooh, that's cute. I'm gonna put that somewhere, I think. Um, but yeah. Like I was saying, you wanna, like, not overdo it. You have to, like, find a good balance between it being able to run, um, and you liking what it looks like. <laughs> um, which can be hard sometimes. I think I'm gonna put this around. Hello? Okay, there we go. Just around some places. You know, there's just like little flower bushes and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I need like a big area of just ground cover. This is good. I always use this one from Cottage Living. Cottage Living came with so many good like debug grass things. They're like perfect for, you know, doing foresty areas and stuff like that. So is very convenient to use because it just covers a lot of space all at once probably gonna do it in a couple areas actually let me just kind of shift that over you know because that's how life is i really want like grass that's like up and it has leaves and or not leaves but you know what i mean it's like detailed i guess is what i mean this is really pretty. I don't know if this is like, 
Like, is that gonna take up a lot of space for this? I don't know, but it's like really pretty. I kind of want to use it. I can always delete things if it's not working out. Right? Like that looks so pretty. I'm just gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna put some over here too. And then one over here. Yeah. Oh, ground cover. Oops. Just kind of move that over. Um, also, I kind of want to make, obviously, like this kind of area to the side in some of the park look foresty. Because, I don't know if you guys know this show. It came, I, it came out like a couple years ago, I think. Um, it's a cartoon because regardless of my age, I like cartoons. And I want to apologize for it because truly some cartoons and big emphasis on some um because you know a lot of them are not great but some cartoons just like hit different like they're actually genuinely like good storytelling um with great characters and everything and they really honestly sometimes are better than television that's made for like adults so i like watching cartoons sometimes but it depends on like the quality of it um a lot of the cartoons that i watch are like stuff that i watched when i was like a teenager um that were like meant for teens but there's this one show that my sister introduced me to because she was like people were talking about this show like we should watch it um and it's called craig of the creek and it's actually genuinely so good <laughs> like it's it feels like it's it kind of has like references to like people my in my age group like from my generation maybe it's like a bit below it um but it's just like so good like it has references to when i was a kid um, and obviously, like, the kids in the show are supposed to be older, because this, I think, came out, like, a couple years ago, so it's not, like, super old or anything, um, but they reference, like, things that, like, my generation's part of, and then, um, it makes me feel kind of old, because they obviously think that it's old people stuff, because they're kids, and so then it, <laughs> I kind of, like, giggle about it, but I'm also like, oh my gosh, like, am I old now that they're referencing it? Like, it's the super old thing, but anyways, it's called Craig of the Creek, and... It's about these kids who have a creek by their house in like a neighborhood and all the neighborhood kids go and play in this creek and it's like they have basically like a little kid society in this creek where there's like a trading tree that they go and like trade snacks um and they get snacks from this tree and like it's they like really like the way they play pretend in this creek is like they believe that this is real like everything there's like a cardboard city and like like, some of the, the kids, honestly, like, my sister and I joke, were like, they need to, like, actually go to therapy because of how real they feel, like, all the things in this place are, um, or this place, like, is, but it's, it's such a cute show, like, it, it I don't know, it, it heals my inner child, truly, <laughs> watching it, and I really like it, so, um, I don't know, if you're someone who likes to watch cartoons, then Craig of the Creek is honestly really good, and I enjoy it, and because of that show and watching it, um, I'm gonna save actually really quick, because you never know when the game's gonna crash, but yeah, because of that show, I want to make, like, this, that's why I was kind of trying to make this river look natural, because there's, like, you know, a creek on the show that's, like, the name of the show, it's Craig of the Creek, he's, like, the main protagonist, um, with his two other friends, and there's, like, a creek that runs through, like, the forest where all the kids play in the creek, and I thought that was going to be so cute because one of the life stages that I honestly play with the least or like care the least about is the child life stage in this game. Um, I don't know. It's just, I guess I feel like they don't have like a whole lot to do. So I don't really tend to like focus on the age group a lot when, even though I like play a lot of family gameplay usually. Um, yeah, it's just like an age that I don't play a lot with. So I want to kind of change that. And I thought, like, watching the show kind of made me inspired to do, like, more with, like, making, you know, after school activities and, like, um, maybe, like, summer camps and stuff. I go to mod that, like, does summer camps so you can, like, send your kids there or even, like, making a lot. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make, like, a lot somewhere for summer camps and, um... Just, like, have a group of friends that, like, play in this park all the time and they, like, live in this neighborhood um and they're like friends and stuff i don't know i just like it inspired me to do that kind of gameplay more so i'm hoping when i do this um 
you know, I finally finish furnishing this thing, then I can make Sims and then play it. Um, if I do end up finishing this save at some point, or at least like halfway, because I know that people, when they do save files, because it obviously takes a billion years to finish, they'll do it in like, um, kind of stages. So they'll finish like a part of it and it'll be like this save file, like part one or version one. Um, so I know that's like a thing, obviously, that people do just because it takes so long. And I've been thinking about whether I'd want to do that or not. Like release it kind of like in versions um, until I'm f fully like finished and it's like to the final version of it. But I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet. Like if I want to do that or um, if I'm going to take some more time. Um, I don't think that I would release one with like Sims in it. Uh, just because it's, like, a lot of work, honestly, like, furnishing the whole save and then trying to put, like, a whole bunch of sims in it is kind of, it's a lot. So, I think I'd probably, I think it wouldn't be populated and then you could just, like, populate it with whatever sims that you want. Um, from, like, the gallery or, like, sims that you make. Um, I think that's probably what I would do just because it's kind of a lot and I don't think my brain could handle... <laughs> doing that much um prep for this save so i think it would end up being something um that yeah i think i would release it probably in versions maybe um like if i got like willow creek done that would be version one and then if i finish oasis springs then that would be version two and like build it up over time um but yeah so i've been thinking about that if that's something people even want because if literally no one wants this then that's totally fine and I, I'll just, like, I don't know. I think it'd be fun to just do videos on it. I think that's fine. But, yeah. I'm not sure what to do with that. But I think I'll probably just do little bits here and there and then upload it. But I, I don't think I'm going to do it populated because that's a lot of work. Um, I think I'll leave that up to you guys. And, yeah. I think I would definitely, like, have ideas for some households maybe. But, like... Obviously, like, when I'm building a house, I I mean, I usually have an idea of who lives there. So, it might be furnished a certain way. But, like, you can do whatever you want and, like, change it for whoever you see fit for, like, that household. Um, I totally don't mind if people change that. Um, and yeah, I think that's probably what's gonna end up happening. I'm gonna put a tree right there. Um, yeah... I don't want to overload it too much. I might... Can I bulldoze this? It's going to take all the trees I just put down away. Okay, good. Um. Yeah. So, this is, like, the lot that I was going to do today. I think I saw, like, a single mom living here, I'm pretty sure, is what my idea was. Um, and then I think... I'm trying to decide if I had... If I should put, like, this chain link fence from... Like, it's separating the neighborhood from the park area and, like, kind of have it, like, between the houses. Because I did that in my other one, but it was a lot shorter of a fence. And these fences are obviously, um, like, sorry. I lost my train of thought. Because I just realized that that wasn't attached to it. But yeah, these fences are, I made them smaller. So, like, in my other save, it was, like, this small. And it kind of went, like, between the houses, like that. But then I did this fence to separate everything. And I think it makes more sense just because, like, it's a public area. So I feel like I should continue that kind of theme. Because obviously if I put a short fence here, it's going to look really stupid. Like, attached to this fence. So I think I should make it the same size. But then I feel like it's going to make the house look weird. Like, will it be weird with the housing? I mean, maybe not. Let's just see. I'm just gonna do it, and then if I hate it, then I can change it. Where's the... Where's this one? Is this it? No, it's not. This one? Yeah. Um, yeah, so... I hope this is, like, entertaining, truly. <laughs> I just have seen a lot of people doing longer plays. I've been watching a lot of, like, save file videos recently, actually. Um... I guess because when you're building a safe file, you just kind of like consume that content because you're trying to see like what other people's ideas are, and how other people are building. 
it's interesting to see everyone's like different takes on different areas and like the vibes that they want for their save um so that's been super interesting um there's a couple that i've been looking at if i can remember the names then i can put them on the screen and you can go and check them out but yeah there's quite a few people that i've seen um doing save files which is cool it was really discouraging losing my last save just because of how long I worked on it. <laughs> it was like almost a year of work, which is super unfortunate. Um, yeah, that was upsetting, <laughs> but it is what it is, I guess. Um, it just like simply wouldn't open at some point. And I was like, okay, guess that's gone forever. I know you can like recover it. Um, but there was already, I don't know, a part of me, it's kind of like I was split because it's obviously really sad to lose that work, but there's a lot of parts that I didn't like about it and I had to redo anyways. And so I was like, what if I just like started fresh? I thought the game just froze. That kind of scared me. <laughs> um, so it's kind of like, you know, I kind of wanted to start over, but I was kind of scared to do it. Um, and I was like, maybe I shouldn't, and then it, like, didn't save and wouldn't open, and I was like, well, I guess this forces me to now, and now we're here, so, um, I guess because, like, playing in that save, like, when you're doing a save file, you really have to, like, exit out of it, like, exit out of, like, build mode and go and, like, throw a family in real quick and just, like, test if things are working, which is something I discovered when I built, like, a whole park area and, like, literally no sims could access it, and I was like, oh... Um, so yeah, you kind of have to, like, test things out, because some it's not always gonna work 100%, which is something I learned. So, and it also, I think, playing in it a little bit will help you, um, realize, like, what lots and stuff that you need for the area. Because you might not think of something until you, like, are playing Sims in there, and then you're like, oh, like, it'd be really nice if we had, like, a library or something nearby, didn't like build one and then that becomes like the new build project that you have so yeah it can be like helpful obviously to go in and like play for a little bit even though like if you're like me you just want to like get it done um and just assume that everything's gonna work it it might not so it's a good idea to go in and play test things and make sure that um things are working and like it also helps obviously if like for like inspiration and stuff um, if you're trying to decide, like, what else to build, because you'll discover through gameplay what you're missing. So, yeah, if that's something you want to do, I guess that's some tips that I have for you. Um, do I like this fence here? Like, it makes sense because this is obviously, like, a public walkway. And, like, there was a neighborhood when I was a kid... That was like that and it had like like alleyways between houses alleyway sounds like shady but like it's just like it literally just was like this where you just would walk between they would go like to a park or something but they did have fences that were high like this i think it's because the other one i did like had a much lower fence and i'm really debating whether i like the look of this one um more than this higher fence because i do actually think Cause it was like that between the houses okay here another good tip that i saw someone say if you're like building this is like a general build tip but like if you're building something and you're not sure about the size of things there are things so oversized for absolutely no reason in this game you can get like these mannequins out because they're obviously the same size as these sims um and then figure out if like the sizing looks weird like chain link fences are usually like that like you know tall obviously but do i want that like if you're going through if, like kids and people were just like walking through this path do i like that it's that high up or do i want this shorter fence because then this is kind of shady because then like strangers are like going past your house but it's like just i don't know I really am not sure about what size fence I want. You know what? I'm going to leave this for now. And whatever the comments say about the fence size, I'll, I'll do that. 
Because I genuinely can't... I don't know. I'm having a hard time with, like, what size fence I want. But you guys can let me know what you guys think looks better in this area. Because I cannot decide. Um, anyways. So, I was thinking about building the house that I saw here. I actually have to get my tablet. Because I like to look at, um, like, inspiration photos on here. When I'm building. Um, just for some things. I don't always do that. But if I have like a certain house kind of style in mind. I like to like save that kind of house style and then reference the photos if I'm building something. So I think that's what we're gonna do. It's like very similar to like the houses that are over here. I just like the way these look. They look really homey to me. I like family houses. Um, and so that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. And I saved a bunch of houses that have that similar kind of look. Some of them are like um, bungalows, so they don't have a second floor, and then others do have them. Some are like split level housing um, and all that jazz, but because this is um, what I thought was gonna be like a single mom's home, I feel like they probably wouldn't need like that much. Like, I don't think they would need a two floor house. I think it was like, I was thinking a single mom, a teenager, and then a child, so. They need space, but they don't need, like, I don't think they would need a two-story house. So I don't think I'm going to build something that big. Um, so I'm just looking at pictures. Um, which one do I want to do? I mean, this one looks pretty good. It's got the same kind of long vibe. I'm going for long houses in this area. So it's kind of longer. I definitely don't want this wall height unless I split the level. Uh, do I want like a walkway though? I might put it here so that there can be a walkway and then it kind of comes out like this. Oh, there's like a whole... Oh, I think that's a garage on that side actually. It goes like... Here, let me move it over. It kind of looks like... It goes like this and then there's like... A garage over here which I don't really like so I'm not doing that <laughs> I'm just gonna take um, the area that I see the most on here because that's what I liked about it and why I saved it so I think I'm just gonna do this whoops it's kind of big right and then they have like some yard space I might do I might do the same kind of thing like a bump out over here it's like the same size as the other one just because it's gonna make roofing a whole bunch easier um and like obviously i need space for bedrooms and stuff so i don't know how big i'm gonna have to make this but when we get to the floor plan we'll know i can do a roof here and then do this roof here oops this Kind of put it down a little bit. I think it needs to be flatter like this. And then we can do some siding. It has pretty big siding. Let's do this one. It's just like white siding. I feel like I'm doing a lot of like neutral colors in this area. My original one had like a red house and a blue house and a green house. And it was really cute. Um, I might still do that. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about like the colors of the houses and stuff yet. It might change. Everything's subject to change because I'm very indecisive as a person, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and so I have issues with like choosing something and sticking to it. Maybe this roof. I think that's fine. Um, yeah. Let's see. It does kind of slightly go up like on a little step like a step up on the porch so i'm just gonna do something super simple like this and you just kind of step up on there yeah i think we're gonna do that um the only thing is like they don't have i guess we could put like a parking space on the side how big is this lot Okay, I can like kind of move it over a little bit, I think. Actually, wait. 
I'm just gonna move it a little bit over there. I kind of kind of didn't want to do that just because it's really close to this fence. I mean, I can put bushes or something over there. Um, just because, like, obviously this doesn't line up and, like, cars would have to get out. But this game didn't make anything make sense for cars anyways, so I don't know why it matters. But I try sometimes to make it matter. Um, I think I would want, like, I don't know, some kind of, I might actually just do terrain paint. But I'm just going to do this for now to kind of map it out. Um, I'm not sure if the teenager here would have a car or not. I think I'm leaning towards probably not. But I have to decide. Also, I have been using this fence um, by Wendy Moon. I just really like the way the texture is because it's not like alpha and it's not max as much. I feel like it's a really good in-between in terms of like the texture of it. Um, and it reminds me of popsicles. So, <laughs> that's the reason why I like it. It looks like popsicles, and I like the colors that come with it. They come in, like, fun colors. There's, like, a red, a kind of lighter brown, this kind of dark brown. There's a blue one, a cream-ish sort of wood one, and then a white one. And I just love them. Um, it's by Wendy Moon, and it's called... Cyclera fence. So yeah, if you're looking for where this fence is, that's where it's from. And I just really like this fence. Um, so I've been using it. I've been using it for... I did it in my last version of the save file and I'm probably gonna do it for... The, the only bad thing about this fence is it doesn't come with a gate. So I've been really struggling with like finding something that doesn't look weird. Um, which can be rough sometimes in this game because the game already doesn't come with a whole bunch of fences but you know we we make do i feel like did they recolor this oh they did i guess with the base game update i guess they did recolor that i'm just gonna use that for now i think i did the same with these over here because i like what else are we gonna use um but yeah i i don't know if i'm gonna use this path i think i'm probably just gonna do terrain paint I don't know if I'm vibing with it. Um, I obviously have like retextures in my game, so everything's not looking the same. I kind of like it, and then sometimes I really dislike the ones they replaced it with. Um, like certain textures they replaced it with, so we'll have to see if I keep them in or just keep some in my game. I don't know if it's actually choosable, like if I can like separate it, but I'll have to find out. Sometimes sometimes where there's a will there's a way but i think i'm gonna make this a little bit more natural looking i like to do like dirt and stuff first and then place some kind of like stone path sort of thing should i do that color i just kind of place this down uh, like as well like the paths and like driveway on this side but I, I don't, I don't really mind that. I don't know what color I should do. Are these new? I think these are new. I don't remember seeing these before. Yeah, I think they are new. Are they from, like, a base game update? I think they are. They have to be, because, like, they did not exist before, I don't think. Or we could do, like, gravel driveway. I used to have a dri gravel driveway. Um... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I want. This is basically like literally what I had here before, but like softer because it doesn't have rough edges to it because it's obviously like terrain paint, not like tile. Um, I don't know if I love that. This is also something that for some weird reason takes me a long time to do, which is like trying to find a garage, a garage, a driveway texture that I like and I don't know why that matters to me but it does uh, I think I'm just gonna do this for now and then if I still hate it we'll just you know we'll just change it if, if I continue to hate it um, 
I think we're gonna do a couple bushes outside the front here. Uh, maybe... I think the color of this one's nice. Maybe we'll do that one. This one over here. And I don't mind- oops! Clip the fence. I don't mind if it goes through the fence because like that happens all the time in real life. It just like goes through the chain link. So I personally don't care about it going through. I think it makes sense that it would kind of grow through a little bit. Um, so I'm going to leave it like that because I think that's realistic. Where's... What am I looking for? You know that ground cover? The ground cover from um, the horse range pack is actually kind of nice. Like the colors of it because sometimes the ones from the base game are kind of like really bright green but the ones from that pack are a nice green probably use some of these actually these bushes i like these bushes some different colors because real life be like that they just be different colors and it makes the variety that's so beautiful um this little one. Yeah, like they just have like a bunch of bushes. Because honestly, I feel like most people do that because gardening honestly really do be hard. Like, I don't know if you guys have tried to garden. Um, every single house I've lived in, my dad is like, we're gonna have a great garden. And then he, we're just like not garden people. Like, it just doesn't really ever work out. Um, I think the maintenance of it is just a lot. And yeah. You know, I feel like some people are really cut out for gardens, and then others aren't. And I don't think we're those people. Um, yeah. So it kind of, like, doesn't work out that often. But it would be nice if it could. I think I'm gonna replace this, actually, with this one. I like the leaves on that. Uh, maybe under here a little bit. Maybe I'll switch that around. Hmm. Yes, and then she could have had- would she have hedges? Would a single nurse- a single mother who's a nurse and working night shifts have a bunch of hedges she has to trim? I don't think they would want to have that, to be honest. I certainly wouldn't, because that feels like it's a lot of work. Um, like extra work for no reason, but... What is this? Why is it so small? Oh. Okay, um, I don't think we're gonna put that down. Uh, does this come in different colors? It does. That one's kind of nice. I don't know what I grabbed it for. I think it's too big, though. Hmm. Do we want, like, flower flowers? Because flower flowers is, like, you're putting effort into that because they can die really easily. Like, you need to have upkeep with that, and I don't know if they would do that, just with her being busy all the time. And I don't think the teenager would care that much, so I really do think it would just be bushes everywhere. I think that's how I'm gonna leave it. I think I might put a couple rocks in, though. Maybe I'll we'll put a couple rocks in here. I don't think I've used these rocks before. They also came with... Uh, the horse ranch pack. They're kind of like the perfect shape though for right here. Wow, that fits like actually perfectly. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I think maybe she like just kind of did that to kind of frame it a little more. Um, yeah, I think they would do that. I need a mailbox. Um... Should we do one that's on the house, or should we do one that's on the thing like that? I feel like a lot of houses don't have this unless it's in like a rural area, and it's like you have a super long driveway, and then like at the front of the driveway there's like a mailbox that's there like that. I feel like most people either have them like on their houses, or they have like the ones that you walk to if like you're in a suburban area. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Really depends. I don't know what kind of windows I'm going for. I just did like the winged llama ones in the other house. Maybe I'll just keep the same energy for these ones. Maybe some bigger ones for this front area. 
I'm not looking at the picture anymore. I truly just, I just realized that I like gave up looking at it. Should I move? Should this be wind tile out? Let me just move it out for a second. I mean, I think that's fine. Well, it's kind of cutting into the driveway though. Hmm. Maybe it's cutting into the driveway a little bit too much. It already kind of was before. Let's just kind of scoot these in a little bit. Is that okay? Yeah, I think that's enough room. Um, I usually have a thing that has cars in it, but I didn't do that, so they're not here, unfortunately. They're gonna be in, I think, debug, I'm pretty sure. I wish they would just go into the, like, transportation slot in the, like, outdoor thing, but they are not, unfortunately. So just gonna have to look at, oh yeah, that's the little U-Haul thing like if sims were moving that's cute that's also a thing i have to remember is that i'm gonna try and have like one of the houses on the street be one that you can move into um so yeah i'm gonna try and also remember that like I'm, i need to make one of these houses unfurnished with like a sign outside so like your sims it gets like your sims are moving in oh it's a cute little sled Maybe I'll like slide it down a little bit and just, I don't know, maybe, maybe they play on it. Like in the winter and in the summer, they just kind of have it out still or something. I don't know. Oh, I always forget about these. These little debug items from Growing Together are so cute. And I always forget about them. And then every time I remember that they're here and I take them out, I'm like, they're so cute. Like, look how cute these are. These are gonna be out here for sure. I think a lot of the kids on the street are probably gonna have that. A lawnmower. Looks kind of beat up. You can put that over there. I don't know if I'm, I'm obviously like not keeping these in like on the lawn area. I'm just gonna like throw them in the house really quick, but I wanna put that somewhere maybe if I can find room. I'm not sure because I still have to do like all of their individual rooms and there's three people living in this house so we'll have to see if we can fit them in here but yeah um hmm some logs probably not here probably would put that in granite falls somewhere i think literally where are the cars like what? Maybe I'll just type this one in because I know I have some conversions for TS3. Um, I don't know what they would drive. Is this a fancy car? I'm really terrible. I have no idea what cars like. I'm truly the worst person to ask anything about cars because I don't know literally anything. I don't know what cars are expensive. Well, like I know like brand names like Porsche and like Mustangs and stuff are expensive, but like. If I just saw a car, I'd have a hard time knowing, like, if it's, like... Oh, yeah, this is, like, the little daycare van from The Sims 3. Aww. I should have someone who, like, does that as a job. And they can have that outside their house. Wait, that'd be cute. I don't know if it would be in this neighborhood or, like, somewhere else. That's cute. I mean, this car's fine. I feel like that's good. Should we do it the other way? this way eh, i might do it this way i think i'll do that i think like a small i mean that one's nice too they come in different colors I might do this one yeah that's fine okay I don't think the um, teenager is gonna have their license yet. I don't think they're gonna have a car yet either. Obviously, if you don't have a license, you're probably not gonna have a car. Um, yeah. Okay, now we need a door. I'm gonna save because it just like low key like moved kind of weird. So I'm just gonna save real quick. Um, 
we need a front door. It is. I know, like, in the picture, the door is... Oops. It's kind of, like, centered like this. Should I do that? Or should I have it, like, off-center? Hmm. Maybe we'll keep it like that. Blue door? Maybe blue door. Do we have shutters? That I can use on this house. Because they'll actually fit on the windows. I can use these ones. I just stack them on top of each other. Like, oops. I just stack them on top of each other. Uh, like a lot of people do. Like that, just so it fits the window. And I think that's fine. I'm, I'm not that picky about it. So we could do that. I think the darker blue is good. I might change the door. Wait, yeah, I think I'm gonna change the door. It just seems kind of tall. I mean, the picture shows a door that looks like this. Maybe I should follow that vibe. Wait, what's the difference between these two? Oh, one's glass and one's a screen? I mean, they have a screen door in the picture, so we'll just do that. Um, let's do this here, this here. I think this goes in a little bit. Does it? Yeah, I think it does, actually. Okay. I think that's fine. I don't think that these windows need shutters, necessarily. I know that not all windows on houses have that. Um, sometimes it's just a couple of them. So I think that's fine. I'm just gonna put- I just honestly place windows randomly until I get in the house and then I shift them around. But just so I, there's like light in the building before I like- so when I get in there it's not like pitch black. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do that and I'll probably have the back door like this one maybe. There or on the side, but I don't know yet. I'm not 100% sure. I honestly might have to make this house longer because I don't know if there's going to be enough space for like three bedrooms. I mean, there could be. Let's see. Let's take absolutely forever to do a floor plan because that's usually how <laughs> how that uh, goes for me. Um, hmm. Um. I'm kind of thinking a neutral-ish sort of floor, but kind of dark, but kind of, but not orange. I mean, this one's fine, but I kind of want it to go the other way. I have to do this first. Wait, this way? And then, okay. I mean, we could do that for now. I don't know. Everything's subject to change because I truly change my mind every so often. Like it's, it truly just never stays the same most of the time anyways. So, um, I'm just gonna make everything a white wall just so I can visualize what I want in here. I'm just gonna throw these outside really quick because that's for the kid's bedroom. So if you walk in the house, Let's see, we're not getting a whole lot of light because I put probably a thousand too many trees outside and now there's like no sunlight getting in this lot. Um, actually, why isn't there sun getting in here? Oh yeah, some of the flooring in my game for some reason is glitched and like light's not showing up on it. Yeah, see? If I change it to a different floor, you can see that the lighting like for the windows is in there. I don't know what that's about, but some of the floor in my game is like glitched out. Which is super annoying, actually. Okay, we're just gonna do this floor then. Because now light's showing. Okay, so this is the evening. And I'd like to have the evening light going through, like, a living area. I don't know why I'm like that, but that's just how I am. I just like to have that. 
So, hmm, maybe this, I always put like a powder room right at the front of the house and I don't know why I do that because I feel like most houses that I go to don't have it directly at the front of the house. Like some houses have that, but not all of them. That's why I kind of wanted to put the door on the side because then it leaves room for like, um, like a room. Oops. Honestly, it also might change the window size. Should I change the window size to a smaller window? There's this one. I think I sh Well, if I'm putting in- Oops. If I'm putting in a main area, then maybe I'll leave it. Should I leave it? Maybe I should just lift it up a little bit higher. Does that look better? That's not terrible. At least I don't think it's terrible. I think I am gonna put it to the side. And I know that there's like bushes and stuff in the way, but I can move that. You just like chuck it over here. I think that's fine. Oh, we should probably put this on here actually. Oops, like a little gutter thing. A rain gutter. That one's like cutting in with the roof. We could put one right there. I mean, that's fine. So we could put that there. I think I am gonna move the door actually. I think I prefer it that way just cause I think the layout makes more sense. Cause then you can have like a room here. And I, for some reason get bothered with rooms that are like you walk in the front door and it's like a living room. I know it's kind of common actually, but for some reason that bothers me. And I think it's just me being paranoid as a person <laughs> and not liking. Like you walking into the living room directly. It's a me problem, truly, because that is like pretty normal for a lot of houses. Um. Hmm. Sometimes I have to get like the, what's it called? These. To kind of like visualize things. Because I need. Hmm. I need a. Living room, dining room, and kitchen. Where's the light for the morning time? It goes in the back, but everything is being blocked by the millions of trees. Oh, it comes from the side. Yes. So the morning light comes from the side, and because there's like two-story houses right next to this house, you're probably not going to see it. Can I move this tree? Is this a... Or did I have it? Yeah, I have it on the other lot, so I can't move it. Because I was thinking if I could move this tree, maybe there'd be light getting in there. It gets in during the afternoon. Because it's going to make this long area the bedrooms. But I think I should... Yeah, that's probably... Because I either make this long area, like both sides. Like this whole run, three bedrooms with like bathroom in between. And then this area is a living area. Or... Actually, I think that makes sense. Except for this is where the... Well, no, because if the back door is there, that's fine. Because it's the main living area. This is how my brain works when I'm doing floor plans. Which is usually why I do the floor plan. Like, I record myself building the house, do the floor plan, and then... Um, like, off camera. And then go back in and then continue to build because it truly just takes me eons for some reason um i know that's not like a new sentiment a lot of people feel that way when they do floor plans but yeah that is something that i do quite often okay wait maybe the boys are gonna have to share a room because i don't think this is gonna work any other way because there's a teenager and a little brother but that's like what my brain was thinking about but like well, actually, let's get a bed. I always have to get a bed out because I truly sometimes, like, forget the size of things. So if they did, like, two single beds... I mean, like, that is for sure big enough. Like, that's fine. I feel like they should have the one at the back of the house. I don't know. I feel like if I was a parent, I'd want the room at the front of the house. 
just in case like someone breaks in then you're like right there instead of your kids i don't know it's truly my paranoia and anxiety um but that's just like how my brain works so that's what i think but like i guess it doesn't that's just how i feel okay so this could be a bathroom that they all share so there's bathroom there hallway two bedrooms I'm trying to figure out a way that I could split it into three without it being too small. Like if the teenager had a double bed. And I don't know if like you're a teenager or you did this when you were a teenager, but I always had my bed shoved like against a wall, like in a corner as a teenager. I don't know why. A lot of teenagers do that. I'm not sure what that's about. It just feels cozy. Like it's like a cute little cozy corner. Um... Like, if I extend the hallway, like, I just don't actually think- I think if I was going to do that, this whole thing would have to go out to, like, the edge of the lot. And that might look kind of weird. Like, does that look- Like, it's kind of weird. Like, does that look weird from over here? Like, it's not the worst thing on the planet, but I don't know if I like it. Like, does that seem too long? I feel like that looks too long. But you would need, like, at least that much space, I feel like. Right? For two rooms? I don't know if I can split it. I think they really honestly might have to share. Which is, like, drama sometimes. Because siblings don't... I mean, not all siblings, but... Like, me and my sister shared a room when we were kids. Um, but, like, we got along pretty well. And I know some people don't get along with their siblings very well. Um, I'm pretty sure in my head I was thinking that these siblings don't get along that well. Not in the sense that they're, like, mean to each other or anything, but they just, like, don't interact that often. Like, I think I was, like, thinking they would have the distant trait with each other. Um... Yeah, so that's what I- actually, you know what? This room's kind of big. I don't think she needs all that room, to be honest. Because if we cut down on this space over here, bathroom's over here, move the window, move this down, then we can put more- have more space for this kid's room. Right? That's nice. And now this teenager has a little bit more room for, like, a desk. To do their stuff at. This room's just really small for this kid. I feel kind of bad for them. Um. Hmm. It's either this or they share a room. I kind of don't like it. I think I'm going to have them share a room. To be honest. Okay, we're going to go. We're going to just erase everything we did. And... Yeah, I think we're going to do this. I think they're going to share a room, which is fine. I shared a room with my sister when I was a kid. Um, and honestly, it might bring more drama since they don't, they're kind of distant with each other. Um, so yeah, that's fine. I feel like for storytelling, that's good too, between them. So bathroom, two bedrooms, all the way here. And... Hmm. Maybe. It's either we put. No. I mean, we could do that. But I don't like that, so we're not going to do it. Maybe we'll put a half wall up. You know, those houses, and they have like the half wall with a little pillar thing in the house. Like this. We do that. And then it, like, divides this area. This would be, like, the front entrance, obviously. And then I think we do, like, living room, dining, and kitchen. But I kind of wanted it to be closed off. And now it's not going to be closed off. Which I don't really like. Unless I just did this. But I kind of hate the way this looks. 
I mean, it's not terrible. I could still do it. We have a little opening. Like, probably a bigger opening than that. I'm so glad that they updated the game with, like, these arches of, like, different sizes and stuff. We've needed that for so long. It was something that was genuinely exciting to me when I saw it. I think... I think we're gonna do- I don't think this house is gonna have, like, a formal living room area. I think it's just gonna be, um, like, in the kitchen. Like, that kind of thing where it's, like, not separated off. I think that makes the most sense for this house. She does have, like, an, a ginormous room. I'm planning on doing, like... Actually, I don't think I've ever done that before. Does that even look nice? If I did... Like, corner built-in closets? Does that look weird? Does that look super weird? Uh, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world, but I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, you know what? She saved up her money. She wanted this bedroom. Like... You know, she got it. Like, I'm just gonna leave it. She can have that. She can have a big bedroom. Um, I'm just gonna put the fire um, alarm in there just because I don't like it sticking out because it's kind of ugly. And I'm just gonna put a... Oh, yeah. I forgot I got that. Sorry. <laughs> I got um, custom content. And I, sometimes if I'm not in the game, I just, like, forget what I got. I'm just gonna throw in these base game ones because um, I haven't decided how much CC I'm gonna use. I think I want the kitchen on this side, actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have the kitchen on this side and then this side is where the dining room is. I mean, maybe there is enough space actually to divide it in between two rooms. Maybe I'm just being picky, truly. Let's see. If that works. There's like a kitchen over here. Let me get the cupboards because sometimes the cupboards take up a lot of visual space and then you change your mind. So let's just see what the cupboards look like in here. Oops. Truly if I did that like no mistakes building challenge where you have to like build you can't remove anything if you mess up I would fail at that so fast. I feel like I misclick a lot. I think they go up one, don't they? I think they go up that way. Um, and then there can be a sink here. Probably maybe put a fridge over here. And then a stove here. Do, well that's cute. This one. Mm, and like that color could do that and then actually you know what this is like way bigger of a space than i thought it was so we really could divide this into two rooms i think that's fine for some reason i was thinking it wasn't going to be that big of a space but it is i think it should be fine and then you have the kitchen in here the dining room in there. Just gonna throw those tiles in real quick. Everything's subject to change. As I said, I don't think any light's gonna get in this dining room, which is kind of unfortunate. But I can always take away trees if I really am bothered by it. That is always an option. Ooh, I have glow in the dark stickers. That's cute. Can you see them on the ceiling? If I just like. Oh, that's cute. I'm gonna use that somewhere. I might use it in here, actually. I don't know. We'll see. Um, for sure, they'll need a light in the dining room. I'm not sure what kind of, like, style this house is in. I think it's just, like, this is what we have. This is what we're dealing with. I think, like, maybe it's this, um mom's like newly single like they just got divorced 
and I think maybe the, it's like joint custody so the kids go back and forth on some weekends. I think that's going to be the vibe. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then maybe just tuck like a plant into this corner. And then probably some photos. Oh yeah, I have these backsplashes I got. I forgot about these. I think they take like the texture from high school years. Which is kind of nice. I can do that. I'll just leave them there for now. Because I'm trying to just plan out what things look like so far. Maybe they have like... I don't know, a couple pictures on the wall. These are just like things I'm placing down. This isn't like gonna stay here necessarily. Um, hmm. I think they would have kind of a smaller dining table. There's not a whole lot of them in this house. Um, maybe they, they like mo newly moved here. I don't like that table very much. Where's that one from? Oh yeah, this one. I think this one. Yeah, maybe this one, that kind of thing. I guess we could put two extra chairs. There's three of them and I, if they have like guests or something coming to the house. So there's a dining room there, kitchen. Yeah, kitchen, dining room, the two kids' rooms, bathroom, and then the other bedroom here. Just feels like this... I mean, I could make this kitchen smaller, to be honest. Like, that's completely fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. They don't have to have, like, a massive kitchen. So we might make that kitchen smaller there, and then we have a little bit more space in the living room area. I think that's fine. And then I'm going to save one more time just to make sure. And then we can have, I think, probably a fireplace. I might move this little rain gutter thing and then put a, um, what's it called? chimney I mean I guess actually it doesn't matter if it was over there because I've just put it on top of the roof but whatever um I, f I feel like finding a chimney sometimes is difficult for me because sometimes they just seem like really overly tall for no reason um actually maybe it should be the other way though like oops this way I feel like that makes sense. I mean, that's fine. Or is it? Do I hate it completely? Sometimes my eyes are just like, actually, we don't like that. Mm. I don't know. I think that's fine. Okay, so they have like a fireplace on this side. Apparently doing the whole like TV above a fireplace thing is like a faux pas. Like you're not supposed to like have a TV above it. Um, or like if you do, you're supposed to have it like this where it's kind of like angled downwards. So I've just been doing that wrong <laughs> for a couple years. Um, but apparently you're not supposed to do that. So the more you know. Um, maybe just this TV. I feel like there's not enough space for a carpet. Or sorry, a rug. It's probably gonna have to be this way, which is kind of annoying because that means if the TV is like on a console on this side, uh, I'm just gonna grab something random. If it's like over on this side and then we have a couch, like, right across from it. Like, it looks kind of weird, because it should be, like, this way. Unless I just moved it over. But I don't really like the way that looks. And I can't have this underneath the fireplace, because everything will blow up. 
Um, let's see. That looks super comfortable, actually. I think this goes with it, yeah. That looks super comfy. Oh, cute. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm truly just doing random things because this is how it works until I figure it out. I don't think... I mean, if I did it on this wall... If I did it on this wall and then this is on this wall... And then we have a TV this way... Is that better? Not really. Hmm. Well, we would just not have this here, I guess. And then do like a single chair? Like a... You know? Kind of like this energy. Maybe like a round rug or something? I don't know, nothing's really gonna fit in this space very well. Um, I don't know, I'm truly just placing things down because I'm just trying to get a feel of the size of the room and like what I want to do. Could I have a lamp over there? Maybe, maybe side table and lamp and then a little bit of like a unit Side table, lamp, and then do like a unit on this side for the TV. Hmm. Let's see. I think I have something from this pack, yeah. And it's supposed to be like a... Is that how it goes? I think so. Or is this supposed to, like, do this? No, I don't think it does that. I think it goes like this, right? Maybe? Maybe it's this. Oh, I think it's this, actually. Yeah, that looks like it's supposed to go- oh, Then this is weird. Oh, wait, is it supposed to go this way? Is it? That doesn't look like it's supposed to do that. Wait, what? Piece two. This is piece two. This is piece three. This is piece four. This is piece five. It's supposed to look like this? That doesn't look correct. I'm not really sure how this piece is together, to be totally honest. Um... I mean, that could be the unit. It just looks kind of weird because there's, like, this gap between it. I don't know if that's actually how that's supposed to look. That doesn't feel like it's supposed to do that, but I'm not really 100% sure. We'll figure it out eventually. Um, and then, like, I don't know. A coffee table? Hmm. And then you walk in here. And then probably like some kind of sideboard thing on this side. Um, I don't know what kind. I'm just gonna put something random there. Maybe this one. And then a mirror. So you can like see what you look like before you leave the house. And then we can put a... What's it called? A like rack thingy? your stuff maybe not this one but like you know the ones I think she does some like workout stuff so we can take that kind of thing out but I'm looking for a um what's it called a rack for like coats and stuff like that a coat rack that's what it's called this kind of thing and then like a shoe rack over here. And then maybe, or like have this on this side maybe. 
and then like a little chair in this corner or is it gonna kind of compete with the chair on this side? i mean if we did a stool i feel like that's fine i don't feel like that's crazy it's like you put your shoes on you can like kind of sit down there that kind of thing i'm not really sure what kind of chair would fit over here Hmm. Hmm. Do I like that? And maybe like a kind of runner type vibe at the front door. Hmm. Something like that. Obviously, but just like placeholder furniture and stuff. Walk in, living room, dining room, kitchen. Hallway, bathroom, bedrooms. The bedrooms are so big for no reason. I feel like I should make it smaller. Probably delete that. There's too many windows in there. Yeah, like something like this, I guess, for a layout. I have to figure out the, um... This living room is, like, really messing me up <laughs> for like how I want to have it laid out I wonder if switching the TV onto this wall would be better and then putting the couch on this side hmm but I need a different thing for the TV to sit on I mean that fits there We'll do that in the corner and then have like a plant over in the other corner or we could put a chair in this corner like that and then just have like a plant or something on this side near the window I could do that maybe that looks better and then do some like a photo or something on the wall could be like a family photo or something else. I'm just gonna throw something up there because we could do something like that. Do I like that better? I think I do like that better. That feels a bit more har harmony har harmonious. <laughs> I'm I meant harmonious. That feels a bit more harmonious. Um Yeah. Maybe something like this kind of energy. I think that looks nice. You can't see like the back of the TV, which bothers me a lot. Hmm. I don't hate that. Yeah, I think we might do that. I think we might do that. This can be the opening. I could like divvy up these rooms as well. If I want, actually no, I can't because the window's in the way. I'd have to do it on like over here. So I'd have to get a different thing over here and then over here. So it's like the entrance is separate. I think that's fine. Put the plant over here. Like it's kind of a small room, but like there's not that many people living in here. So I feel like that's fine. Um. We could put like maybe something for music on this side or if i get them a dog or like a cat or something like their little thing can be over here or it could be in the corner and then the chair can be over here but i kind of don't like the way the chair looks in that corner i kind of like the way it looks over on that side and, or we could just do um a little like music thing over here like speakers or something Hmm. Hmm. Does that look good? Maybe something else. Maybe like a table. A table with like a speaker thing on it. 
I got a whole bunch of speaker stuff from Hanraja because they have like so many great like speaker like CC and stuff like that on their site. Um, so if you're looking for like record players and like stereos and stuff of a whole bunch of different varieties, like that's the place to go because they have so much, so many different like styles of it. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for something like that, I would recommend them. Ooh, that's kind of cute. I don't know if it like suits its house, but it's cute. I don't know. I don't know. I think they would probably have like a CD player or something and like have it on a table. It's like a small... Look how cute this table is. I want to use that for a build sometime. I recently downloaded that. You just like size it down. Yeah, something like that, I guess. So they can play music. I think that's fine. A little table. And then probably another like lamp or something on it. Or even like a bookshelf. I just realized we don't have a bookshelf in this room. We could do that. Which I don't know if I really like that that much to be honest with you. Cause you're like walking in, there's like a table in the corner. Or I completely forgot a bookshelf so we can put a bookshelf in this room. Hmm. Yeah, we could put a bookshelf in here. I think we're probably gonna go with a bookshelf. Just cause like for functionality purposes, it makes sense. Maybe a short one, or should we go with a tall one? Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what size to go for in this corner, but one of them. I think for sure we're gonna do a bookshelf. Maybe we should do like a corner bookshelf or something. Oopsie. Like that? Is that kind of weird? I don't think we have any corner kind of bookshelves now that I think about it. But for sure something. Like, you know, some kind of bookshelf over here. I'm just gonna throw this back over here. Um, I kind of don't like that it's blocking the space now though. We could put it on that side. I mean, that's fine. I didn't love this chair in this corner, but I could do it. I hate that this carpet's weird. There's like no orientation that looks correct. Just because of where everything's placed, like the fireplace and everything. I feel like that's the least weird. Everything's a little bit off center, but like not everything's always 100% centered all the time. So I feel like that's normal. Yeah, maybe something like that. In terms of like layout, not like the furniture pieces necessarily. Um, and then obviously this is like the kids room. And the teenager also shares it with them. Yeah. Okay, I think that's how this house is going to be laid out. Um, and girl, my voice is feeling raw. So I think this is where I'm going to end it for today. But if you guys enjoyed this kind of long play and want to see me kind of furnish this, like, the rest of the street um, and kind of finish the save off a little bit, um, then let me know in the comments below. And also let me know about these, like, fence sizes, sizes, um, if you prefer the taller one or the shorter one, because I'm really struggling with that for, like, in between the houses for the path to the park, and, um, yeah. So, yeah, let me know about that, and, um, let me know if you want to see more videos like this, kind of long-form videos, um, where you're just kind of simming with me, and we're sitting down, chilling, and, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!